What's going on YouTube? It's Mr. Best Kept Secret and I'm coming at you with the first episode of our Madden Owner Mode series. And I chose to be a former player and to be perfectly honest, I wasn't 100% sure what team I was going to be when I uh, when I started scrolling through the teams. But you know what? One team caught my eye. They have a decently young quarterback. They have a dynamic playmaker as a wide receiver and they have an emerging defense and that is the St. Louis Rams. And our owner in this series will be none other than Colby Champ Hunter's father, Braxton Hunter. He will be the owner of this team, and uh, he will be trying to lead St. Louis or uh, maybe some other franchise, that's a hint for you guys, to a Super Bowl victory. So here we go, we're just naming him. And personally, I will be playing as, as, if, I, if, as if I was the owner. I... Uh, I want to start fresh with this team. I want to I want to build from either A, the quarterback, and out, or I want to build from the offensive line and defensive line and out. Now, see, St. Louis is unique because they have a lot of young studs on defense. They have Chris Long as a defensive end. They have Robert Quinn as their other defensive end. And their defensive line is definitely pretty young with Michael Brockers and Kendall Langford. So I'd probably be looking to... Um, add to that defensive line probably one or two more guys and then I would be looking to build that offensive line with Roger Saffold and Jake Long as the bookend tackles that's that's a solid uh that's a very very solid tackle group right there but the interior of this offensive line is very poor and that and that's uh, me trying to uh sugarcoat it but they're definitely going to need some uh improvement and they do have one young center in Barrett Jones but I don't think he uh I, I personally think he, he'll be able to do well, but I'm not 100% sure if Madden thinks he'll be able to develop well. So here we go, starting the franchise. And we are uh, the newest owner in the NFL. And I'm going to see if I can personally build this team into a Super Bowl winning team. I want to do that you for sure. And here's our first media question. An NFL franchise. Now you have one. And Why'd you want to be an owner so bad? I'm not sure which one I'm going to pick. Um... Because I also am a football player, so I'd probably I'd probably pick because of my history being what it is, maybe. But uh, the other two responses sound good as well. But uh, this first season of this franchise, I think I'm gonna go with this one. All right. So this first season of this franchise is gonna be all simulation. There's going to be no gameplay. So if you came here looking for gameplay, you're gonna have to wait until probably around a couple weeks from now. Because uh, or actually not a couple weeks from now. I'm not 100 percent sure when I'll be getting gameplay out. But here we go. This is just a brief description on the owner mode. I'm going to go in here and change a couple prices for a couple things because this season is going to be all simulation based. And you know what? We're going to look at the free agents that we have available to us. So there is a pretty uh, pretty big uh, group of free agents that we would be able to sign. But you know what? Honestly, I'm looking to get a high draft pick this year so that we can either A, draft our quarterback in the future because I personally don't think Sam, Gra Sam Bradford is that talented of a quarterback. And possibly even get a running back because St. Louis's running back situation since Steven Jackson left is very, very poor. Their starter is Daryl Richardson at a 75 overall. And here we are just taking a quick look at the team. Sam Bradford, 81 overall quarterback. You know what? I'm adding him to the trade block. I want to trade him because I want to get a rookie quarterback that I can build around for a quarterback that I want to be able to do. And there he is, you know, the uh, the, our, the cream of our crop of uh, the St. Louis Rams, Tavon Austin. He was previous first round pick and I plan to use him in every single situation possible once we get to this gameplay you'll see me I will be putting him all over the field and putting him in the most amount of situations where he can use his speed in the open field and where he can uh, be dangerous as a punt and kick returner and here we go just looking at a quick overview of the roster we do have some semi-talented offensive linemen but they are definitely getting up there I always like to keep my teams young because then you don't have to worry too much about contracts because a lot of them stay on their rookie contracts and then when they get really good you can sign them for long-term deals and they just keep uh, keep that rolling so just taking a quick look at the depth chart I want to put Tavon Austin as a short side wide receiver because then if he's a short side wide receiver uh, whoever's playing quarterback will be able to um, be able to quickly get him the ball and if we're running screen if we're running like a wide receiver screen it's very easy to get him the ball and there you saw Barrett Jones the center I would like to start him this year but he's definitely not ready to start so maybe next season and just taking a quick look at also what I plan to do with this team I'm not I don't I'm not sure if I want to keep Jeff Fisher as the head coach because I personally don't like his coaching style uh, for what I for what I like personally and if there's a legend coach that possibly comes out of retirement because I've played a couple owner modes already and uh, 
some uh, some coaches come out of retirement, say like Bill Cowher or Jimmy Johnson or other players like that. I would definitely like to pick one of them up because if I do happen to relocate, I would like to start fresh with a whole new staff. Because St. Louis's scouting staff is definitely not that good. And I'm just going in to quickly uh, drop all the prices down so that when they go to good value, then I can put the prices up and then I can we can end up making more money for this year. And uh, let me know guys in the comment section down below if you guys do want me to relocate the St. Louis Rams because I would definitely be very interested in doing that and I'm not 100% sure where I'd want to put them. I was thinking LA but I'm not 100% sure about that. I don't want to go overseas to London or Dublin and I honestly was thinking either Brooklyn or New Mexico City. I believe it's New Mexico City. But um, I would definitely want to do, to go to one of those two places because A, their market size is huge, which would be good for business, the business side of this uh, franchise, for this owner mode. And then another thing that would be good would be the, because uh, I, like, I like a hardcore fan style. And when you have laid back fans, they don't really care. But when you have fans that really do care, it shows in the franchise because then they end up buying more stuff. They end up um, caring more about the team and all that kind of good stuff. So we're just checking out the uh, owner mode tabs here. And uh, I'm not 100% sure where we're going to be going with this one. So, if you also, if you like this, if you want this series to continue, definitely hit that like button. Because it shows me that you guys want to uh, continue seeing this. And I'm just going to be checking for a couple of younger free agents here as we go over to Robert Sands. A free safety, I believe, who's 23 years old. Yes. And uh, I remember watching him when he played in college at West Virginia thinking he was an absolute beast. Kind of like a Taylor Mays 2.0, if you guys know what I'm talking about. And I'm just looking at some other type guys here just scrolling down scrolling down see if any uh, big numbers pop up at me and I was thinking about signing Jared Gaither but with his price tag and uh, being a million dollars I want to keep as much cap room as possible because you never know right and as we get out of that um, I think this is uh, I think this is actually a pretty good uh, place to stop the episode so remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next episode YouTube see ya